Hello again, lovely kids. Did you enjoy the lesson? Did you try to solve the worksheet by yourselves? Let's see. Now we're going to solve it together. So if you have any mistake, you can fix it while talking or while listening to me. Okay, let me remind you that in the lesson we were talking about the circulatory system, which is the closed circuit in which the blood circulates or travels in our body through special roads that we call the blood vessels. Where does the blood get the power to move through the whole body? From the heart. The heart pushes the blood and sends it to all of our organs through special tubes called blood vessels. Question 1. Annotate the human circulatory system using the terms heart, arteries, and veins. Where is the heart, guys? What is this? This is the heart. Excellent. The heart is located in the chest under the rib cage between the two lungs and a little bit to the left. We still have two terms arteries and veins. We said that the arteries are the blood vessels used to send the blood from the heart to the organs and through the lungs while the veins are the blood vessels that carry the blood from the organs to the heart. The blood going out to your body, from the heart to the body, is full of oxygen since it is delivering oxygen and food to the organs, right? This makes the blood bright red. But the blood coming back from the body in the veins to the, to the heart, that means it collected the waste product from the organs and it is coming back to the heart, have used the oxygen in the blood. It has no more oxygen or not enough oxygen in it. That's why veins look purple or blue. Let's see. This case or this box belongs to the blue lines, to the blue cubes which means that these are the veins while the red lines or the red roads are the arteries. In this second question, we have to indicate, we have to tell if the statement or the sentence is true or false and we have also to correct the false statements. Let's start with the first one. An artery carries blood from the heart to the body. It takes the blood from the heart to the body. What do you think? What did I just say in question one? I said that arteries hold the bright red blood, right? Since this blood is delivering oxygen and nutrients to all of the parts of your body, right? So the blood going inside the artery is moving from the heart to the organs from the heart to the organs this means that this sentence is true what about the second one your heart is a muscle located in the in your chest what do you think do you remember what Jessie said in the lecture video? She said that your heart does not stop pumping, doesn't stop working. It is a muscle. So the heart is a muscle found in the chest between the two lungs in the little bit to the left. This also means that this sentence is Correct. It's true. Let's read together the third statement. Your heart stops beating while sleeping. What do you think? No, of, co of course. The heart does not stop working. It beats day and night. 
since you still you're still breathing during the night you still your body still needs oxygen your cells need nutrients and you're still alive the heart doesn't stop beating at all so this is false your heart doesn't stop beating at all don't forget to correct the sentence so this is a false state a false statement our heart beats day and night it does not stop at all last statement now when you exercise your heart beats Faster, what do you think? Correct, perfect. When we make sports, our body will be needing more food, more oxygen, since we need more energy. So the heart will beat faster, we will be breathing faster to provide the body with the needed food and oxygen. So this statement is also Correct. Third question. Read the text below, then answer the questions. I read it for you, then we will be answering the questions together. Capillaries are the smallest of the body's blood vessels. So, capillaries are blood vessels, right? Capillaries have walls so, so thin that oxygen and nutrients can pass through them and enter the cells. And waste products such as carbon dioxide can pass back into the blood to be carried away and taken out of the body. First part, give the names of the three types of blood vessels. Ms. Fatten says in the lecture video that we have only two types of blood vessels, arteries with the bright red blood and veins with the dark red blood. What is the third one? What is the third type of blood vessel? It's the capillaries, that's right. So you know now that we have not only two types, but three types of blood vessels. We have the arteries that take the blood from the heart to the organs, the veins that collect the waste from the organs and go back to the heart, and we have the smallest blood vessels called capillaries. So I'll be writing the, help me writing the uh, answer. The three types of blood vessels are arteries, veins and capillaries determine here we have to justify we have to give the answer and also to explain why did we choose this answer are capillaries good for oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange what do you think Let's read this sentence. I will highlight it to you. Capillaries have walls so thin that oxygen can pass through them and also carbon dioxide can pass back into the blood. So are they good for oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange? Do they help to give oxygen to the organs and then take carbon dioxide the waste from them yes for sure why is that why are capillaries so good for this exchange since they have what do they have they have very thin walls so capillaries are so good for gas exchange 
That means they let the oxygen pass from the blood to the organs and they can easily take carbon dioxide from the organs to the blood. They are so, again, capillaries are so good for gas exchange since or because they have very thin walls. These walls let oxygen pass through them easily and carbon dioxide sorry, can pass can pass back into the blood. Last question now. List two functions, two jobs of the blood vessels in the body. What are the two functions or the two, two jobs of the blood, blood vessels in the body? What do you think? They give, they deliver oxygen and nutrients to the organ, right? This is one. And they also carry away carbon dioxide and waste products from the organs. So, the two jobs or the two functions of, blood, of the blood vessels to deliver oxygen and food or nutrients to the cells of the body and also to carry away the waste products from the cells. So these are two functions of the blood vessels. Last question. Use the information in the above diagram to arrange in order the actions below. We have to put numbers just to arrange some statements. In the diagram, we can see the heart and some blood vessels. We have the artery, the red artery, holding the a bright red blood and the blue vein holding the dark red blood. And we can see that after the artery, we have smallest type of artery, then the blood pass to the smallest type of vein and back to the vein. It's like a circle, right? So let's see. Blood flows from the heart to the arteries. You can see number one up. So I think this should be the first one. This is the first statement. Blood, the blood goes out from the heart to to the artery then where does it go the blood passes to the arterioles this is two so i'll try to draw some arrows in here The blood passes from the heart to the artery, through the arteries. They, it moves then to the arterioles and then to the venules. Then it goes up through the vein back to the heart it's a circle so the blood flows from the heart to the arteries the arteries narrow into arterioles and then into the capillaries it moves then 
to the venues. So this is the third one. After giving, after giving the organ oxygen and nutrients, this is the point where the tissue or the organ takes what it needs from the blood. The blood pass to the venules. Venules expand to become vein. This is the fourth statement. And last one, the blood goes back to the heart with all the waste products such as the carbon uh, dioxide. This is fine. Okay, let's read them one more time. The heart, the blood moves from the heart to the arteries. It is now going to an organ, to a body organ. Um, the blood passes from the artery to the arteriole. From the arteriole, it gives the tissue or the organ or the cells what it needs, the oxygen and the nutrients. Then the blood moves to the venules. The venules then become a vein. So the blood moves from the venule to the vein and goes back to the heart. It's a circle, guys. Okay? It's a circle. From the heart to the artery, from the artery to the arteriole. Um, uh, from the artery, they give the blood give the tissue what it needs. Then from the capillaries, from the arteriole to the venule, from the venule to the vein and back to the heart. 